Good morning, Move Mentors. Welcome to Business Corner, Episode 2. Take 2, matter of fact. I did this earlier, but guess what? I forgot to record it. It is what it is. It do what it do, right? So uh, today we're going to go over the split sheet, guys. I should have did this the first time instead of copyright, but it is what it is. But at least you're armed with the uh, the knowledge of how to fill out your copyright SR, which a lot of us is going to be using. So let's begin with the split sheet. What is a split sheet? A split sheet is a, a document that spells out the, the different uh, percentages that's going to each songwriter. Um, people who was involved in creating the composition, which is the music and lyrics, right? So let's begin. Here we have is our split sheet for Salvation Records. Of course, I went back and I blanked out everything because y'all don't need to see all our intimate detail, right? But um, it's pretty much we're going to go back and we're going to fill this in as if you had downloaded this template and uh, you're going to be using it for your own uh, music business um, purposes, right? So first thing we want to do here, you want to uh, change this to your, your logo, right? Let's do stock images. Let's change this to, uh, I don't know. Let's pick something here. Let's pick that. You're sailing on a river. You know what I mean? Right? But you're shining, baby. You're shining. All right, your company name. You are, let's put um, my music Diet, right? That's the name of your your um, your company or your uh, your publishing company or whatever you want to name it, right? All right, your street address is Boom Like and 808 Avenue. I guess we got to put a number there, right? 100 Boom Like and 808 Avenue. Your city or state, let's say you're from Hip Hop, New Jersey. All right, good job. Your email, my email at, at gmail.com. Put in your phone number. Like I have this, this document set up so you can just highlight and swap out the text where you need to, right? Zero, 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 zero. Right, that's somebody's phone number. Website. Um, music boogers.com. What if that's a real website? Then we're gonna have to um, Google that later, right? So here's your split sheet agreement, your date of your split sheet. Today is February 24th when I'm recording this. February 24th, right? Number of your agreement. Our company is My Music Giant. So how we do it here is uh, my split sheets from, from our songs is under Underground Assassin's Music. So, but yours is my music giant. So, MMG 001 001 2022. However, you want to, however, you want to categorize your split sheets is up to you. But for us here, we do our Underground Assassin's Music or UAM dash zero zero one and then we usually just put the date the of the year but you can use this as like saying um maybe this is category one of your company which is hip-hop and then the first split sheet right or you might say okay zero zero two maybe you have an r b um categorization so this is your uh r b category with the first split sheet in 2022 right well however you want to um freak it man you know what i mean uh, this is to confirm that the soul rise below have contributed to the following decision uh divisions rather all right the song title we're going to call this funky olive garden i don't like olive garden man you know what i mean all right let's say the people involved in this is um michael Mason knight and Herbert Cliffbanger, whatever, you know what I mean? These are legal names. Make sure these are legal names. I'll put the artist names up here. I have a space that you can kind of sneak the artist's name in here, right? In case, like in our situation, it would be, the, but sometimes in like the major uh, music business, the artist name wouldn't go on here because they may have uh, 
brought the license to use somebody's songwriting, right, in the in the beat. So their names wouldn't be going on here. But for us underground and independent musicians, right, I figured out a way to sneak our artist name in here as well. So, all right. So the first contributor is Michael Jason Knight. My second contributor is Herbert Cliffbanger. Right, and now the songwriting information, this is the, the, which you have registered with your pro performance rights organization with their name for that. So maybe it's Michael. It's a right, it's his real name and his IP or that you give to other people. IP number is, whatever that may be, right? Same thing for the publisher. Maybe his publisher company is um, Sleep Sleep Bumpers. I don't know. I'm making this stuff up, man. Let me, come on, let's get some hip hop. Does he in there? Sleep Bumpers, right? And the same thing with the IP. I'll just copy this. This is a Word document, by the way. So, I guys will be able to, uh, if you're interested, I'll, I'll set it up where you can download it from uh, our, our work at Google Drive. And you can have this document to, for your own purposes, right? Same thing with um, Herbert Cliffbanger. Let's say his songwriting name is Herbert, right? Cliffbanger. And his IP number is the same because we're making up stuff here. You know what I mean? Here. And then we go. His publisher company is um, Monkey. No, let's go. Uh, yeah, Monkey Bar Dragons. Monkey Bar Dragons. You know what I mean, that's not a bad name. Monkey Bar Dragons rolls off the tongue. So might. Nice. All right, so let's let's look at this section here, guys. Here is this. This is based. This split sheet is based off of uh, BMI because we're registered with BMI, so that's what we have our split sheet based on there. But for uh, ASCAP, just know that this this section will be based on 100%. So all the numbers you see me putting in here, you would split in half for the uh, ASCAP. Uh, all right, let's say Michael made the beat, right? So he gets 50%, and say Herbert made all the lyrics. Which is typical in the uh, underground independent kind of thing where somebody makes a beat and somebody's rhyming, right? Based off of hip hop anyway, you know what I mean? But let's say, let's say uh, Michael made the beat and he also did the lyrics for um, the hook. Let's say he did the hook too, because sometimes our producers be making hooks for their beats too, right? So how I do it is we have that 50%, right? And I divide it by four. And so each part of that, of those lyrics is worth 12.5%. Now there's arguments that can be said that the, well, the hook appears three times, so I should get more. Y'all can work that out on your own, but how we do it here, we just split that in four ways, right? So if he did the the, uh, the hook two, he'll get uh, 62.50, right? And my man here would get uh, 37.50, right? That equals 100, this column equals 100. Now we get to the publish slide. Well, let me mention this before we go forward. When you follow your copyrights, you should be following for um, two different copyrights. You're following for the composition, which is the music and the lyrics, but you're also following for the master recording, right? Or the publisher side of it. So now we go into the publisher side. Most people will split this in half, right? That's how we do it here, depending on um, who we're working with. If it's if it's an inside um, label thing, we'll split that thing right down the middle. But if you're working with somebody else, you might want to uh, just assign them their portion of the, the composition. You know what I mean? So so for this, we're gonna say they, they, they don't know each other as well. So they're gonna keep their share of this publisher, right? So now we have the total here, which is one, 125, 125, right? And my man down here on 75, and this will be equal to 200, right? I'll double check my math here. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I got it right, but uh, 
We gonna take it anyway, baby. Right? So 62.5 plus 37.5 equals like, yeah, we good. We good, G. We're good, G. Ooh. All right, so we got that. So that's that section there that spells out the uh, stuff here. Now here on the contribution, this is where you can sneak in the uh, artist's name. So St. Michael, it's a night slash, let's say um, MC, oh, he's a producer, right? So let's say uh, DJ Y, what did he do? This is where you put down exactly what these guys did. Made all the elements, and I'll put a comma here. Elements uh, wrote formed lyrics for hook, right? And to do same thing with the uh, Herbert Cliffbanger. Herbert Cliffbanger. Let's say he's MC Z because he's boring. Put you to sleep. You know what I mean? So you uh, wrote and performed all, uh, uh, let's say, let's say, uh, what, three verses? Three verses. Four lyrics for, ah, oh, come on, man. Performing lyrics for three verses. Right? Now you got this thing laid, made out, laid out. You know what I mean? Uh, Michael, he made the beat and he wrote and, and recorded the lyrics for the hook and Herbert Cliffbanger MC put you to sleep wrote and performed there for three verses so that's everything's covered right there I also have here a section where I have people start signing each page just to indicate that they've read this page and that this is the actual um, official copy of this page right because people can go in and try to be sneaky and try to change numbers around and what have you but if you have their, their signature on this page and uh it indicates that this this is the real numbers, right? Samples and responsibilities. I'm not going to read this whole thing out to you, you know what I mean? But uh, it pretty much is stating that if you're supplying a sample to this composition, you're going to be responsible for clearing that sample. You're going to be responsible for anything that may arise because of that sample. But if everybody else who's involved in this composition agrees to incorporate that sample to the composition, everybody will be responsible for whatever happens if y'all get if you guys get sued. We we don't really sample here at South Rec, right? But um for you guys that do you, you need to be careful here. You need to make sure you're clearing your samples the right way. And don't don't be uh don't be an underground booger man. You know what I mean? Just don't jack people's stuff man and, and don't give them their due respect. You know what I mean? If somebody if you had made something and somebody took what you made and sampled it and made made billions of dollars you're gonna want your piece of the pie you know what i mean so make sure you're clearing your samples man for go any legal issues you may have further down the road um you can pause this video if you want to read this section but it just pretty much states how those who supply the sample are responsible for the sample and if anybody else who's incorporated into this composition creation agrees to allow that sample to be part of the the composition then they hold some kind of responsibility too right licensing I see this is just a a clause that that states that uh, the the art the songwriters rather agreed to allow their contribution to be used into a mass recording, right? So that's that's pretty much what this is. Again, if you want to pause the video and, and read this, you're more than free to. Uh, I left Salvation Records in there so you can see that it should be a label or your company. Which is let's let's change this to uh, what my music giant, right? Writer's responsibility. This this is in regards to our uh, register with your pro performance right organization, right? Everybody's taking their responsibility to get it done on their side. Typically, if if you're if everybody's on the BMI, you only really need to do one. But if you got people who's with ASCAP and people who's with BMI and people who's with CSAC, they need to be responsible for registering their own thing. I would suggest that you register yours anyway. Cover yourself always. You know what I mean? All right, this is an important clause here too, guys. Work for hire. Do you guys know what a work for hire is? I think we, we touched on it on the sound cop on the copyright SR form. A work for hire is when somebody pays you to sing a part or play a part that they've already um, written or um, inscribed, right? So if 
you're a singer and I'll pay you to sing a part I've written. That's a work made for hire. You didn't write the lyrics. But I mean, you're just coming in to record what I've, I've asked you to record. So you're getting paid for your services. So you have no claim in, in here, right? Because you didn't write the lyrics and you didn't make the beat and you're not part of the, the, the publishing squad. You know what I mean? Now, in some instances like us, we believe in, in sponsoring our uh, relationships with artists. So we have set it up where we're giving them a small percentage of the publishing to uh, artists who contribute to our music because that's just how we do. You know what I mean, but you're not you're not obligated to share your publisher with anybody you're paying for a service, right? Um, it also we also have some other things in our service, our uh, vocalist service agreement, where uh, our artists can get a certain percentage. And then if they agree to help us uh, promote and market the, the project, they get uh, a little bit more, right? So that there's, there's ways for you to encourage um, networking and growth through your split sheets and through your other agreements that you have with other artists. Again, we have a signature on this page too, because this is important. You know what I mean, they need to know about the sampling, they need to know about the licensing, and they need to know about this work made for hire. So if their signature's on this page, that means they read this page and they understand it to be true. And this should be the same thing we're here. The. Like I said, I just added this clause in because I wanted to add extra protection against um, fraudulent MCs, fraudulent singers, or whatever. Fraudulent people in general, man. You know what I mean? Music industry is shady, bro. You'll meet some shady characters, believe me. Protect yourself as much as you can. All right, finally, we have the signature page. Um, it doesn't matter how this page is signed as far as if one artist signs at one time and then another person at another day signs at one time, that's all considered to be one signature, which is indicated by this first sentence. This agreement can be signed in counterparts, each of which when executed and delivered, it shall be deemed to be an original, but all of which taken together form but one in the same instrument. And of course, uh, the signatures indicate their agreement to the terms, um, you understand to be legally binding and um, enforceable. And it's also understood that the notary is only providing services, is not responsible for any damages that may arise or any liabilities that may come, right? So that's the signature page there. We, in the past, used to do like the addresses and everything, but it's not necessary. It, may, it was a little bit overkill, right? So this this tip typically would say uh, songwriter, songwriter's name and songwriter signature but for us we just put artists because all our all our, our um, all our talent that we have signed to the label are actually the artists themselves too right so that kind of that kind of ties the two together a little bit but yeah same thing here you know what i mean you can uh let's do this i love word man bing and then you have the notary sign sign and notarize it that day, right there on the spot, man, if you can. Um, Salvation Records, we have our own notary service, so it's in-house. And as soon as we get the split sheet signed, we're, we're notarizing it. We're making copies for the uh, people involved, you know what I mean? So they, they get a copy of this full split sheet as it is, you know what I mean? Uh, the numbers of things will all be plugged into here once we find out who's doing what or whatever, and then um, let me see, let me see, let me see. They get a copy of this full thing. Um, the signatures, what I, what we typically do is have uh, one master copy of people signing the signature, but I have everybody sign here too, but everybody will still get a copy of the notarized version of this, of this page here. So they'll sign it, whoever's involved will notarize it, and we'll make a copy of this page and give it to everybody. So they have that notarized version. Um, included with their their copy of the split sheet. So that's split sheets, guys. I want you guys to uh, be careful out here. Always protect yourself as much as you can. You know what I mean? We have a saying here at Salvation Records where we want to... Uh, I don't want to say that. We say that whatever we learn outside, we bring back into the hub and we teach the rest, right? So that's this week's... Uh, Business corner, guys, the split sheet. I should, like I said, I should have did this one first and then go into the copyright, but I wanted to get that copyright one out there first for some reason. And uh, so I'll, as we continue to go through this business corner um, journey, man, I want y'all to 
give me input about what you want to see. Um, what do you have questions about? And if I can answer it, I will. If I can, I'll find somebody who can, right? Um, but as always, guys, I want you guys to stay tuned, stay alert, and remember, you are the movement. Comment below, man. Let me know what you think. Any questions and stuff, I mean, I'm here for you, just as you was here for me. All right, with that, guys, I'm out of here. You know what I mean? Be blessed.